What's going on, Bucket Hat Crew? My name's JMT, and welcome to a highly requested video. Well, not really highly requested, okay? It just got a lot of votes on the community poll, which is insane. We had over 400 votes on that thing. Stop a video right now, pause a video, go downstairs, look in the mirror, and tell yourself you are great. Do that right now, or don't pause and just have me stare at you while you're doing it. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. What we're going to be doing in today's video is looking at every single item inside of the merch's shop. Not the merch's featured section, because that would add on more to the video, and trust me, this might be a long video as it is, because every single item in the merch... Guys, we've been through so many updates, this bad boy is getting full. We even got in the update an assorted list of these items. It Someone just opened the door? Who's in... Ash, what are you doing in here? Let's get back to the video. Now, before we get too jiffy with it, let's go to the merch's shop. And as you can see, I actually don't have every single item in the merch's shop yet. I, I don't have every single, and I only got two tokens. Will I be spending Robux to go ahead and get every single item in the merch's shop? Absolutely. Not. I'm basically just going to be giving you my holy and just review on these items today. And I'm basically going to be giving my opinion to you guys also who don't know where to start when you when you first join the game. I know there's a lot of newbies out there who play Survive the Night. You just joined the game. You look at the merch's surplus shop and you're like, what even is all of this? You, you, you get confused and you get frustrated and your anxiety starts to build up and it makes you just want to punch a hole in your wall. And then you get yelled at by mommy and daddy and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to be telling you guys exactly what each item does and and basically my opinion on which one you guys should get first or which one that I think would work out for you guys. So let's get started with today's video. As you can see, there is a lot here. We got all the perks for all of the specific gear and we even have like killers up here, even a ghost. They have a merchant ghost. Yeah. So let's just start from top to bottom because I feel like that would be easier. At the top of the merch of surplus shop, we have three slashers inside of the shop. Now, if you guys don't have anything yet inside of the merch of surplus shop, I suggest not saving all your tokens to get the three killers right away. Not even the ghost right away. If you guys were to go ahead and get something first, get one of the gear, but we will get into that, okay? We have the merch here, and we also have another merch here called the... All right, merch, this is getting very annoying. Yeah, I need you to just stop interrupting me. Then we have the lightweight merch. They both are very different, and actually one is way more beneficial than the other one. So let's get with the first one, the merch here. It's gonna hurt me a lot more. All right, now you've done it, merch. Fires off six shots at any nearby survivors, and these shots don't do a full hit. And what I mean by a full hit inside of this game, because I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of new people looking at this video. Guys, when you first join Survive the Night, your health is kind of calculated by hits. You could be a one hit, a two hit, a three hit, depending on what perks or gear you actually equip inside of the game and these are the amount of hits that will take to actually go ahead and kill you as a survivor so the merch he has six shots in his revolver and each one does half a hit so it doesn't do a full hit to actually go ahead and kill a survivor so basically six shots kind of equals to three hits if you were to fire off every single shot at a survivor which i highly suggest you don't do would i suggest getting the merch out of the three killers here probably not let's move on to the next one here called the lightweight merch he places traps that stagger and injure survivors while revealing their location there is a slasher in this game called the onro or onrio i actually don't know how to pronounce its name yet or her name it looks like a her onro in this game will place down a little trap that if you walk into it and activate it it'll let her know where you are on the map so it's kind of like a little trap well with the lightweight merch he will place a trap that not only will stagger you where if you activate the trap by stepping on it you'll be in place for a little bit because it's like you just got you just got stunned basically is another word for stagger it will let the merch know where your location is i'd say the lightweight merch will probably be the best slasher inside the merch surplus but let's move on to the aila the ayla slasher attempts to flee a discovery Attempts to flee are discouraged. It kind of sounds like a British slasher, doesn't it? I think so. This would be a perfect slasher for Toxara. Ayla will disable survivor gear and increase attack speed. So I guess a lot of people will probably fall to Ayla's side because if there are some tryhards out there in Survivor of the Night, which, trust me, okay, you're gonna meet some. They will probably use the slasher to their at most unique skill qualified level ever. I mean, the people who use Ayla are normally really good inside the game. If you are going against an Ayla slasher, I would run 
and away. Because these types of slashers will probably only activate their ability if they know what you're using. So they will literally study and identify you before they actually go ahead and want to kill you. It's scary. So let's say if you have the scrap shield gear and you activate it to try to block off the incoming attack from a slasher. Well, if you're going against Ayla and she uses her ability, you can't actually go ahead and use your gear. And I might be completely wrong on that because I don't think Ayla actually disables all types of gear, but let's just say for a general example, that will probably be it. She does disable some type of gear. If we were going to go ahead and take my opinion into account though, I would probably still go with the lightweight merch here because- All right, merch, you did it. I think he's just a better slasher in my opinion. But those are the three slashers inside the merch Sopa shop. Let's move on to the ghost here called the merchant. There are ghosts inside this game now. There was an update not long ago that introduced ghosts as a spectate mode inside of Survivor the Night. So not only do you have to third person spectate people now inside the game, you can actually be a physical ghost and hop into the game that's actually being played and you can walk around and, and do stuff, okay? Each ghost has a different ability and you can actually unlock them through certain levels, so it's pretty cool. He either grants a random speed, a recharge, or a health slash damage buff to nearby players. So it's kind of like rolling the dice to, to this merchant here. It will just be a random thing each time, either speed, recharge, or health or damage. It's pretty cool. I think this is actually one of the better ghosts if you just want to mess around, okay? There are some ghosts out there that can actually be used to, to help out the survivor or the slasher really well. But the merchant, I feel like would be a fun ghost to use for a challenge. Peep the cake SDN dares. This will be in the video. It's a very cool ghost and I'm definitely going to rate it like a good 8 out of 10. Okay, we'll give it that. Moving on to the beefy part of this video. Look at all this. Guys, we got to go through all this in one video. It's awesome, isn't it? It is. Starting off, we have the Merch's Revolver. A lot of things have been changed with this thing. We're going to look at the gear, by the way, and the perk. So what I mean by a lot of changes is with the Merch's Revolver, it used to blind the slasher. But now if you get the range module, which is the perk for the Merch's Revolver, Revolver. Wait a second. No, it's not. If you... <laughs> oh my... I actually don't know what's going on. Here it is. The micro rounds. If you use the micro rounds with the Merch's Revolver, which is the specific perk for the specific gear. Guys, if you are new again, I'm sorry. I keep cutting off the Merch's Revolver. You're probably like, JMT, get on with the video. I want to know. There are perks here in the Merch's Surplus Shop that as you can see, like this one says, Merch's Shield. It only applies to the Merch's Shield, which is right here here. If you use this perk with any other gear, it won't work. So this that's what I mean by that. So if you use the micro rounds with the Merch's Revolver, it no longer blinds, but you can now fire three shots that will stagger the slasher instead. The reason why I think this is a downgrade from the original micro rounds is because when you used to go ahead and actually blind the slasher, you used to be able to hear like where you were walking and like all the volume around him. But now if you actually go ahead and blind the slasher, he can't hear that anymore. Therefore, when he's actually blind, he's actually blind and he won't be able to still track you by where you're walking. So that worked out really well when people were using the micro rounds with the Merch's Revolver. But now if you use the Merch's Revolver and micro rounds, it just staggers the slasher. He can still see you when you shoot him, which just sucks because right when he comes out of stagger mode, he's still chasing you, which is why it doesn't really help out that much. I'd say micro rounds would be a good perk if you were to go ahead and actually play with a group. If you did use micro rounds, if you were near like a door or something like that, I think it could be put into a situation that would work for looping. So uh, that's pretty much my opinion on that. Let's Let's move on to the next gear inside the Merch's Surplus Shop, shall we? We have the Merch's Compass. Oh, dear lord. Guys, I don't suggest getting this, okay? I actually made a whole relic video, and it still applies to, to current day, okay? There have been no changes made to this compass thing. And if there was a change, it was pretty small. The Merch's Compass is pretty much a gear that's only used to help you get relics inside the game. This Merch's Compass will not help you with surviving at all, but you do get points from other people picking up relics, and you do get more points for picking up relics in general as well. So if you guys want more points in the game, then go ahead and get this thing. The Merch's Trap. Oh boy. Guys, can we get a slow clap in the chat? They did a whole nerf on traps. Just just traps. Like, not just the merch's trap. No, just traps in the game. The dev team realized that, hey, people who use traps are, like, insanely overpowered, especially when multiple people use traps, because you can spam them around the map and pretty much never get caught, especially with the merch's trap and the trap restock perk. Let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. If you have the trap restock perk on for the merch's trap, not only do you get increased health, but the merch's trap restores gear recharge when tripped now. So whenever the slasher actually trips your trap now, if you have 
have the trap, like the Merchant's Trap on that is with the Trap Restock perk, it will refill your gear recharge to go ahead and place another trap. So yeah, when multiple people were using this thing, they were placing it all over the place and it was pretty much just spamming the entire map and, and the slasher really couldn't go anywhere to actually kill people. He just kept getting staggered every time he stepped on a trap. It was pretty ridiculous, but they did a whole nerf on like setting down traps and stuff like that. You can still set down traps at a very steady pace, but let's say if the slasher actually did trip a trap, he wouldn't be staggered by the next trap for like a total of 20 or 25 seconds, somewhere around that time range. I don't exactly remember what the time range was. It might not even be 20 seconds because that's actually a long time now that I think about it. But there's a certain time period where he actually can't get staggered again by a trap from this nerf. So it does help out quite a bit. So if you guys really want to learn a rotation pattern and how to effectively use a gear that will help you in rotation, I definitely think that the Merch's Trap will work out really well with the trap restock. So I think you guys should, should get that one first. Moving on, we have the Merch's Trash, but I mean Tracker. Yes, that was a joke. Now laugh. The Merch's Tracker tracks the distance to the slasher. And I don't know why I make fun of this all the time. I think I just make fun of like the normal tracker, but the Merch's Tracker is actually not that bad. If you guys do know how to calculate and learn stud distance, then this thing would be like very good to use. <laughs> I'm not even kidding either. The range module, which is the perk for the Merch's Tracker, will show the range to the slasher based on stud distance, of course, but it also increases your speed based on the range. So however far or close you are to the slasher, it will actually increase your speed from that. So it's very good to use. If you guys do know how to rotate really well, like again, with the Merch's Bear Trap, that is a good thing for rotation. The range module with the Merch's Tracker actually works out really well. It will show on the screen instead of being equipped on the side of your back. It will actually be shown in front of you, picking it up on your iPad tablet like you're about to play some Candy Crush. It shows you in studs how far away the slasher is. So it's very nice to use. Of course, stud distance can only be calculated through either walls or a path. I haven't actually found that out yet. I'm pretty sure C-Series who will comment on this video will let you know down below. So go look for his comment. If I find his comment, I will pin his comment. C-Series, I'm looking at you. Okay, comment. Overall though, another good gear for rotation. So if you guys want to learn that, go ahead and learn this. All right, we have the sonar. There is no perk for this yet. Actually, I lied. There is a perk for the sonar, but you could only get it in the event, the nightfall event that was out. There was a perk for the sonar. So if you guys have ever played as the slasher, you do know that you get a detection to use, and then therefore it will detect all survivors around you, basically showing where everyone is. Well, the sonar is just like that, except for the survivor side. If you use the sonar, it will show a ping of where the slasher is, and it will even move with it as well. So it's like a motion ping. It's very cool. But if you got the perk for it inside of the event shop, it will show a ping for everyone. So not only will you be able to see the ping, but everyone on your team will be able to see where the slasher is as well. Uh, go ahead, purchase this if you can afford it, that is. Moving on to the Merch's Shield. I used to use this thing all the time, and I got bullied for it. But the Merch's Shield blocks incoming damage while staggering the slasher. The perk for this, by the way which is called overshields. Sorry, I was trying to click to find it. <laughs> this not only increases your health and speed, but now the Merch's Shield will heal when it breaks and it will heal you. That's what it means. Not the shield, okay? It won't heal the shield, but it heals you because that's how much it loves you. The Merch's Shield isn't a gear that I would suggest to get right away. Maybe down the road, you can go ahead and get it. Like the Merch's Compass. Actually, you know what, guys? Don't even get the Merch's Compass. All right, chuck that out the window. Let's replace that with the, with the Merch's Shield and the Overshields because this is going to be one of those gears that doesn't help you out really that much, even though if it's activated and you do end up staggering the slasher or whatever, because that's what the shield does. If you have the shield out and the Merch, why do I keep saying the Merch? It's stuck in my head, guys. But if the slasher hits your shield, he will then become staggered, but he will still be in line of sight with you. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I'm suggesting not to get this because yeah you'll be like hey i staggered the slasher time to get away nope he's still gonna come up and actually get you so there's no reason to go ahead and use this thing and yeah when the shield eventually does break from using over shields cool it heals you but the mer the i keep saying the merch bro the slasher is still gonna be on your tail and he's still probably gonna kill you even though he just got rid of your shield that's why i'm saying it's probably not one of the best gears inside the game and we're gonna probably throw it down on the on the list a little bit for you to get to like to get right away so with that being said let's move on to the next gear and that is the Merch's drone. This is basically a security camera. So you can see through this thing. Yes, it's like IRL FNF, except, wait, did I just say FNF? This does make your breathing quieter as well, but let's go ahead and look at the perk for it. The closed circuit audio. This will let you play a taunt through the security camera. When the door creak taunt first came out, I actually saw a video or two of people actually trolling with this gear because they were playing the door creak taunt through the camera and the slasher was pretty much like, hey, there's a door opening over here. Let me go to that location. It was used pretty well as a little troll thing 
going. The Merch's drone, I don't think it's going to be one of those gears, again, to help you survive. I think this is more of a fun gear and a gear to use instead of a STN dares, by the way, with cake. Okay, this might be in it too. Who knows? I think it's just a fun little gear to use. And it has a cool idea as well. And it can be used effectively, like the door creak that I was just mentioning. But if we were to go ahead and actually help you out with the survival, probably not as much as some of these other gears will too much. So with that being said, let's move on to the legend itself. Guys, I have my hand over my mouth because I'm just in awe. The Merch's vision. Oh, why did I make that noise, bro? The Merch's night vision the merch nvg yes sir we're not looking at the part where it improves your vision in dark areas no we're looking at the the perk for it look at this guys the infrasound sensor for the merch's night vision increases your speed bonus the merch's vision is now rechargeable bonus but can detect sounds from slashers as well bonus not only lets you see in the dark which is very useful on some maps it basically lets you know where the slasher is at all times and this thing recharges insanely fast you can use it a lot inside of one match when you do turn on the merch's night vision with the infrasound sensor you will hear like a breathing audio and if you actually do a 360 and you have surround sound on in your headset or headphones or whatever you're using you can hear where the slasher is at all times and it will breathe for like a, a solid five seconds or so like a total of three breaths and it, it helps out so much and trying to rotate around the map and staying away from the slasher this is probably my most favorited gear inside of this game and i suggest you guys get it right away it will help out with rotation but you just gotta learn the breathing aspect of it because yeah it's not really like breathing it is like a big noise but that's why i just call it breathing because it's coming from the slasher if you guys can learn that the audio is coming from a specific direction this would help out so much but you have to learn it because i know a lot of people will just use infrasound sense they're turn on the night vision what the heck is this noise that is being played inside of my headset but if you can learn where that noise is coming from even though it's so loud it helps out so much which is why it's my most favorited gear because i love using it in rotation next we have the merch's welder place down and build a barricade the perk for the merch's welder is so cool it's insanely cool and it is called smart plating so now the merch's welder which is a hammer by the way the hammer inside the game lets you build barricades inside of the match which the slasher then has to tear down like a total of three hits i think it is and then he can break through the barricade and start his chase again whatever but if you have smart plating for the merch's welder or the merch's hammer or whatever you want to call it it now has a reduced cooldown and the barricade will auto build and it builds it faster so now let's say if you did have the hammer inside the game and you place down the formal little barricade thing and then you got to sit there and put on the three planks if you have smart plating on for the merch as welder you just have to set down the barricade and you can walk away and it will build the barricade for you and it doesn't reduce like the health of it at all it's still three hits it's still normal health just like the hammer inside of survival the night but it's one of those gears that yeah it's a cool perk to have for the specific gear but the hammer does the pretty much the same thing and it doesn't really change up the game too much if you were getting chased by the slasher and you actually put down the smart plating it shouldn't build it fast enough where you can actually go ahead and block off the slasher unless he's like a farther distance away from you but he's still chasing you if that even makes sense is it a gear that i suggest to get right away if you don't have any gear inside of survive the night probably not but let's move on to the next one and that is the merch's decoy so this will drop a decoy that makes survivor breathing sounds and then it makes your breathing quieter as well so so this is like the audio player and let's look at the perk for it which is called the sonar receiver so this increases your speed and now the merges decoy will send sonar pings when the slasher approaches it the audio player basically when you drop it on the ground it'll imitate breathing noises survivor breathing noises that is and the slash will be like hey there is a survivor here but wait the, there is not because it's the merges decoy what the heck if you have the sonar receiver for this thing it will send you pings when the slasher actually approaches it i met a lot of audio player users out there who are really well I I actually hosted a tournament not that long ago for my 1k sub special and the person who was the audio player god actually won first place i'm pretty sure it was yoshi i think he was using the audio player and it worked out really well the slasher couldn't get any points from yoshi just staying alive so the audio player if you know how to use it works really well and now if you have the sonar receiver for this merch's audio player or decoy whatever you want to call it it will send you pings kind of like the sonar how it sends pings to you where the slasher is the auto player kind of does the same thing it will send you pings to let you know where the slasher is or that he just approached it moving on to
to the next gear, we have the Merch's Keys. I actually don't have this gear. The Merch's Keys is actually very different from the normal keys inside of Survivor of the Night. Because the normal keys inside this game, you gotta shut the door, then you gotta sit there and lock the door. Well, with the Merch's Keys, and just the Merch's Keys, not even with the perk yet for it. If the door is open, you don't even have to close it. You don't have to hit that button. If you just use the ability with the Merch's Keys, it will slam that door that's open, and then it will instantly lock or unlock the door. So you don't have to shut the door and then sit there and wait for it to actually lock the door. If you have the Merch's Keys, you could walk right through the door, use it, it will just slam the door and lock it right away. But if we go ahead and actually look for the perk, Enhanced Tumblers. This is for the Merch's Keys. So any door that is locked by the Merch's Keys will be repaired, and they will take longer to unlock. So the only downside to this perk is that it only works on doors that are with the Merch's Key. If you have like a door that's closed or shut that's not even from the merch key like so let's say another key user were to go ahead and lock a door or not even that if a door was just there it wouldn't repair the door if the slasher did hit it and it wouldn't take longer to unlock so let's say if you were to go ahead and loop the slasher get him out of range and you just had a door that was either locked or unlocked whatever the merch actually i can't i said the merch again the slasher were to go ahead and open that door that the merch's key was used on and you use the merch's keys again on that door it will repair that door all the way and then it will take longer to unlock okay if you're playing as a slasher and a door is locked just break it down okay it takes two to three hits it's not that much that's another reason why i think the merch's keys aren't exactly that well okay i was kind of talking about it for a long time and you guys are probably like wow the merch's keys are they're actually pretty good and then i get to the point at the end here the conclusion and i'm just like actually you know what they're not that good <laughs> <laughs> because yes, it does repair doors and it does take a longer time to unlock, whatever. And most of the time, if a door is closed, that's locked inside of Survive the Night. I guarantee 90% of the time, maybe even 95% of the time, the slasher will just break down the door. They're not going to sit there and unlock the door. So the normal keys inside of the game would work just as well with the merch's keys. And that's just coming from the slasher perspective, what he's going to be doing on a locked door. Probably not a gear I suggest that you get inside the merch's surplus shop. The next one is called the merch's helmet. And this is like the uh the ghillie inside the game temporarily silences your temporary temper cut this out jmt temporarily silent i can't say that why didn't you cut this out jmt so this is like the ghillie inside of the game let's look at the perk for it the inbuilt sensor so when the merch is ghillie that's what i'm going to call it by the way not the helmet or whatever the merch is helmet i'm going to call it the merch is ghillie when the merch is ghillie is activated it will quiet your breathing to like a zero percent where the slasher can't even hear you breathe but if you have the inbuilt sensor perk for the merch is ghillie the duration will be increased from the use and it will also alert you if the slasher can hear your breathing so without even activating this type of gear if you are near the slasher to a point Point where he can actually hear your breathing the helmet will let you know like hey you should probably get away farther because the slasher can hear you and i use the ghillie quite a bit inside the game as well the ghillie works out very well if you want to go ahead and either hide in a bush while you're looping or in a rotation where the slasher actually changes up his direction and ends up running into you activate the merch's ghillie while either hiding in a bush or behind a wall or something like that and he won't even hear you probably won't even take a second to to think again like hey he's probably over here and if you have the inbuilt sensor for the merch's ghillie that also helps out extremely well kind of letting you know if you were to go ahead and follow a rotation pattern that the slasher can hear your breathing and you should change up your rotation and just go the other way probably this would be a perfect gear for starters inside of survival the night if you didn't have anything inside that merch surplus i suggest getting this one right away so start saving your tokens moving on we have the merch's potion increases your health and heals yourself so this is just like the bandages let's look at that perk for it the original brew so it increases your speed and now the merch's potion will partially increase your max health every use the downside to having bandages inside of this game is you can only use it if you were attacked with the merch's potion if you had the original brew on which is the perk for it you can use the gear whenever you want and each time you use the gear which is a gear that actually heals you if you were to get hit it will increase your max health every use and i'm pretty sure it increases it by half a hit so let's say if you just enter a game and you have original brew on with the merch's potion just use it Every chance you can get, right away use it, wait for the ability to fill back up or your gear to fill back up, and then use it again, and it will just start to fill up your max health. So not only is this a gear that you can just use whenever you want, you don't even have to think about it, which works perfectly for those types of people, but you can actually use it as well if the slasher were to end up chasing you and get a head off, then you could use it again to increase the health where you got hit and perhaps do some looping to get away from the slasher. It works really well for just using it as a bandage if you were to get hit by the slasher 
or if you're just wandering around the map as well you could just use this thing and, and fill up your max health every time by like half a hit whatever it is i don't exactly know c series this is this one's for you again so this is also a gear that's going to be ranked highly on that list for people that i su suggest you to get right away go ahead and get this gear right away if you don't have a gear inside of the merchant surplus yet all right this would be another perfect one for you the next gear is called the merchant smoke bomb this is basically the road flare and guys whole my lord the road flare was nerfed by quite a bit the road flare is not good inside this game anymore it's just not good before you could just place down the road flare and it will activate right away and not only will it blind and slow the slasher but I, it, it just activates right away now if you use the road flare inside this game you can throw it down on the ground and then you have to wait for it to activate and then it will do its magic whatever which doesn't work at all if you're being chased by the slasher it's not gonna work the slasher's still gonna come after you because it'll probably activate after he's passed it which is why i'm not even gonna talk about the merch as smoke bomb that much but the perk for it called the shockwave module will not only blind the slasher but it'll stagger him as well but then again it's one of those gears where you have to sit there and wait for this thing to actually activate because they just completely nerfed a lot of the the road flares or all the road why am i saying like a lot of the road flares like not all of them that's not what i meant i meant all the road flares snap out of it merch of smoke bomb it's going to be down on the list, okay? I don't suggest you get this. Moving on, we have the supply bag. Increases your health, and now you can drop a bag to resupply survivors. My, my voice just cracked. I think I am aging, is what they call it. If that was cringy, leave a like on the video. I think the supply bag has a perk, but again, it's one of those event perks. So I don't think it's in the merch surplus shop, but I think the supply bag it does have a perk for it. It was an event perk, however. Basically, what this thing does is you can throw this bag on the ground, and if survivors were to go ahead and come up to it, and they needed a gear recharge, they they could use this and it will recharge their gear but if you had the perk for this inside that um event of the nightfall it would not only gear recharge but i think it would heal them as well most of the people that i see who use the supply bag they will throw it on the ground and people don't even like they'll walk right past it they won't even use it so um, again if you actually have a team who knows what they're doing and you do know each other maybe to go ahead and say hey i threw down a supply bag use it i mean other than that probably not a gear that i suggest getting right away if you don't have a gear that is so it's gonna be down on the list again or well, not again like this is going to be down on the list it's going to be another gear down the list the merch's sensor i said that so dramatically so this is basically like the motion sensor if we have the perk for it called the energy transfer now the merch sensor will speed up the user when triggered so the merch's motion sensor basically the merch sensor whatever if you do place it on a wall and the slasher were to walk past this merch sensor it will beep letting you know hey like the slasher is over there and it will be pretty loud you could probably hear it on the other side of the map it's it's a pretty loud noise i'd say and i don't even know if you could hear it on the other side of the map it, i guess it depends what map I am rambling way too much. The motion sensor is used to, to kind of let you know where the slasher is if you were to go in that area. So it's very good for getting away from the slasher. And it's just very good, again, for a rotation purpose. I think this is a very good rotation type of gear. So this is going to be one of those gears that I suggest you guys you guys to get if you don't have a gear that is. Moving on to the next gear, we have the Merch's Backpack. The backpack was actually just introduced not that long ago. It's a gear that everyone can get. You don't even have to get it randomized, okay? You can get this gear inside of the lobby. Hobby. that's the only way to actually get this gear i did make a video on how to get the backpack it's actually thrown into an update video that i did if you don't have the backpack that is because you got to build it in the lobby the merch's backpack you can place down a camping tent and then it will silence your breathing while hiding inside if you have the perk for the merch's backpack called the old pirate bag which really isn't a perk for the merch's backpack in general because you can use this perk and it will actually give you a 60 chance to avoid the slasher without even having the merch's backpack on but since it has the merch's backpack backpack in the description i'm going to be applying it to the merch's backpack you can pick up your merch backpack now after you place down the tent so this is technically like a portable ghillie and if you're inside the tent as well i'm pretty sure the slasher has to break the tent before it can even start to hit you so therefore it's kind of like a little portable bush as well the only downside to this thing is that it's extremely big when you place it it's a it's a whole tent that you're placing in the <laughs> in the map bro you'll place down this tent and if you go in the tent you can actually activate it to then cover your breathing so with all that being being said the downside to it is that it's just very big and it does take a while to go ahead and actually activate the merch's tent once it has been placed or the merch's backpack whatever you want to call it so therefore i wouldn't really throw this up on the list for to 
to like to get right away this would probably be another gear that would be lower on the list but the old pirate bag perk for the merch's backpack just using the first part of it where you get a 60 percent chance to avoid the slasher now that would be a good investment if you guys want to go ahead and get a perk that would help you out in the game a lot the old pirate bag a definite buy moving on guys to the last gear inside this video i know i know God, stop your weeping and your sorrows and all that emotional stuff we are nearing the end of the video with the last gear here called the merch's goggles this helps you spot invisible ghosts and you can gain speed away from them the deep night scanner is the perk for the merch's goggles and now you can see ghosts through the walls i made a video on the deep night goggles not that long ago i would suggest just getting the deep night goggles and using some perks that i have combined inside of that video to help you out i wouldn't suggest getting the merch's goggles with the deep night scanner it doesn't help you out okay it really doesn't if you want to it goes through walls then uh, cool okay then get it that was all of the gear inside of the merch surplus shop in one video crazy but we still have some things to go over inside of the merch shop here and they're just kind of cosmetic okay they're actually yeah they're cosmetic they, they, there's not a gear or a killer we'll just go over them really quick because of, of course the title in this video going over everything in the merch surplus we have the merch's lantern which is a lantern in the game and this is probably my most favorite lantern inside the game i like the little gandalf staff thing it has here so that's awesome we have the merch's plushie this is a lamp it'll sit up on your back the merch is gravestone which is a gravestone but it's the merch and then we have the merch's taunt and the second taunt and the death sound and here's what they sound like of course i'm not afraid of you you know this is really getting old i'll be seeing you around I actually don't even have these things yet because like I said before in the video, I these don't help you out, okay? They're just cosmetic use. That's why I'm saving up tokens and to and getting like all the gear and, and all that. You, you know what I mean, guys, okay? All right, guys, that was pretty much everything inside of the Merchant Surplus. This will probably be a very long video. You guys have seen everything inside of the shop. We have been on the shop page for so long, guys. I've been recording for 54 minutes right now. We'll see how long the video is gonna be. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me. My name's GMT, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, lads.